Spread in peace. All right. My boy Quick. Remember Quick? Remember we talked about this the other week? Yeah. I didn't think it would be like this, bro. Got uh, anything you want to spread and share with the people, man? I just want to thank everybody for coming out, man. And uh, hopefully next Monday will be bigger. And, uh, yeah. Uh, some people wanted to come out, couldn't make it. Right. Uh, you know, that's cool. But, uh, you know, uh, we got to start small, but we'll get there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What, what 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 side of town do you think we should hit up next week, man? Uh, west I world? Go, I said we go out west. Yeah. Yeah. The brothers and sisters here, y'all all right with that? Going out west? Next week? Next week. Six o'clock, we need to go out west. And hit up our people out west. You know what I mean? Anyone that can make it, spread the word. We're going out west and, you know, Spread the love to our people. And right now, we on the corner of South and uh, Queen. Quick stop, stomping ground. All right? Yeah, no doubt. You, you know how it is. Remember, we all used to meet here back in the day when we was in high school? We used to just talk. Yeah. We're going to get it back, man. We're going to get it back. We're going to bring peace back to York, man. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Which direction y'all want to go next? We're going to go up the way and go back down the way. Go uh, go down through the um, the jungle. Cut down through there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're going to head up that way. Great, sir. Come on, Mr. Jackson. Mr. Jackson. Before we, before we move, we got Mr. Jackson here. He spreads knowledge to the youth. What, what inspiring words can you give to the youth? Man? Absolutely. If you can see me, you can be me. That's why I'm here out here today with my brother Street and the rest of everybody here. So you need to come out and support next week. Great job. Great. When, when's your next uh, speaking engagement um, to inspire the youth? You have anything coming up? Uh, not, not right here uh, in York. So we got some stuff down in, in Atlanta coming up soon, but not here. Okay. Yeah. Spread the word in the ATL. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Head up South Street. Is that where we're going? Yeah. Up Maple. Yeah. We're going to go up Maple. All right. Which way we go? We're going to go up this way and head back down where we down came from. Way. Yep. We got Brother Lavelle from the Nation of Islam, student of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, all the brothers. And the legendary Brother John. Legendary Brother John. He's down in the back. Brother Lavelle. Brother Lavelle. 
This brother here, Brother John, established the nation back in the 70s. Yes. Had a store, no pork, no liquor, no alcohol. This brother right here. Yeah. And Elijah Muhammad came here. Elijah Muhammad came here. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 okay, turn me with. Yes, sir. So we're going to go this way, beloved? Yeah. All right. Brothers on coast. Brothers on coast. This is a beautiful scene. We got some young people here. Give us some inspiring words, brother. Brother Quinn, I used to coach him with basketball. Yeah. <laughs> Opportunity to share your, uh, share your words and hear your views, and the time is now. You want to hear your voice. A lot of people are saying that, well, before you guys were supposed to be seen and not heard, but it, times are changing. You gotta be, you gotta be seen and heard at the same you time. You gotta speak up. Yeah, you guys gotta share, tell us what you need, and let us be the ones that can get into it. You know, you guys uh, want to do other different things. Let's provide that stuff for you guys. It's your chance to shine. We're giving you all the platforms, all the foundation that you guys need to get to, to get to the next step where you need to be at. So we're here out here working for you guys and come talk to us. So let us know what you need. And we have the mayor here. Any inspiring words, sir? Uh, let the let the city know that you know. So what we're going to do? What we're going to do? We're going to work together, and we're going to get help to the people that need help, and we're going to get counseling, like you were talking about earlier. I mean, there's a lot. One of the I'm big, offering a will. I'm offering it for free. Yeah, one of the biggest I'm things. For free. One of the biggest problems that we have in the city is the lack of any kind of help. When people, when somebody's murdered on your sidewalk, like I had happen, and like almost everybody here had happened, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a trauma that doesn't go away. Exactly. Right. Let alone some of the folks whose, you know, family members got killed. I mean, mm -hmm. that, and we got nobody really, we don't, we need a force yeah. to be helping people, you know, and they need to be there the day that it happens. Right. To right. make sure that we stop the second and third shooting, mm -hmm. you know, because everybody's in a frenzy and, and going nuts. And there's no, there's nobody there. There's there's some cops there. They don't have mm -hmm. training in that, you know. There's a couple of us that try to come out, but doing what you're doing is what we need to be doing, and right. all of us together. Right. I, I tell you this. Anyone knows me. I'm not a big politics guy, but I have seen you more in one or two weeks than I've seen any mayor in the last 20, 30 years. So uh, kudos to you for that. All right. Thank you, and I hope we can do something to help, to help the together. Thank you, brothers, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Love y'all for that. I got to be home chilling, man. My brothers come down from Harrisburg, man, showing support from our neighboring cities, man. This is how we got to work together to bring our Oh, yeah. Together. One more thing, people. Uh, Lafayette, come here, brother. I need y'all to... Uh, Support. Uh, hold, hold that for me, brother. I need y'all. Come right here, brother. I need y'all to support this brother. You know how you see a, a fancy car and everyone gives all the credit to the Mercedes Benz, but no one talks about the engine that makes the Mercedes Benz go. This brother every week at 11 o'clock at Penn Park rounds up children around Penn Park, goes in his own pocket, gets some books, snacks, fruit and everything he's been doing this for over a year and no one talks about it so we need to get behind this brother and support him every saturday at 11 o'clock he's rounding up children that never the far as they go is pimp park and we're planning on uh in august taking these children down to baltimore so they can see more than york and what, what's the name of your group bro it's a lot of teaching class 11 o'clock mm -hmm. saturday morning and um, we just teach the kids knowledge that they ain't getting in the schools. Mm -hmm. and, um, and it's working out pretty good. Right. Um, you know what I mean? It's always good to know who, who you are. So, you know, when they do get into school and stuff like that, you know, they can feel better about themselves. You know, knowledge of self. Mm -hmm. Without knowledge of self, uh, it's almost like you're just blind all the way through. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Respect, you know I me mean, for your help too, bro. You know what I mean? 
putting things together with me too. And and just to talk about, and then we're going to keep it moving, just to talk about how um, our children need things. Like the mayor said, when this brother brings food to these children, sometimes, and this is on a Saturday morning, sometimes they are waiting for us because that is their breakfast. When he has the donuts and the stuff, that is their breakfast and they're waiting on him. They appreciate the knowledge, but sometimes that is their breakfast and maybe they lunch and dinner. We seen it, we just seen it, right? And this brother's going in his pocket doing this thing. This is every Saturday at 11 o'clock at Penn Park. He does that and he goes into his own pocket. So we got people to care, man. All right, y'all, y'all ready to keep it moving? All right. 11 o'clock a.m., show up. 11 a.m. every Saturday. I'm a head, I'm a head cook in the school district. Mm -hmm. Monday through Friday, from 11 to 1, kids 18 and under, we feed them free. 11 to 1, we can't even get the kids to come out. We have Hennepin, we have McKinley, and we have um, Ferguson. Mm -hmm. They don't ask you no questions. Mm -hmm. 18 and under, the, the ages of the city kids. I, I go out on them parks down there where we are at and call kids that don't even know the program's going on. As I see out there the whole time I'm at work at 8 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Come in and get a nice little hot meal. We even give them seconds. Right. Anybody's welcome. Right. Is it the same location every week? Every day, it's the same location. Oh, okay. McKinley, Hennepin, and Ferguson. Oh, so it's different locations. Yeah, it's free. Time. Any time you live uh -huh. on, whatever's closest to you. Uh -huh. right. Now, which one are you typically at? I'm at Hennepin. I, I want your energy. I'm I at like Hennepin, and I'm going to be well, here, so I'm going to get involved in this program, you said, because uh -huh. that's where I'm going to look at now, Hennepin. I mean, they all need it. I'm, I'm, I'm following behind you. No, we're saying 18 and under. Huh? I'm thinking of kids, right? Alright, we're gonna keep it moving, y'all. We're gonna spread the love.